Yo, what's good, John? Today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to make a uh, grenade and stuff like that. So it'd be pretty simple stuff like that. I just want to say it first, I really do appreciate like the support I've been showing and stuff like that because we literally went from like I think like 207 to like I think we're at like 211 subscribers right now. So and that's just like from last night to now. So it's like you know that's just really good stuff. So I appreciate y'all on that stuff like that. But yeah, though, let's get straight into it. Okay, so. First things first, of course, you're gonna want to make your little grenade part, right? So, um, I'm gonna just use a cylinder, you know. I know like grenades are like a little more, I guess like grenades are more of like a mixture of a spear and a cylinder, but just for the sake of like this is a scripting video and not like a modeling video, I'm, I'm gonna just use a cylinder. Uh, let's just make it like, eh, yeah, we could do that. And I'll just make it like brown and uh, metal. All right. Then we can call this our grenade. We're going to duplicate this and we're going to put this into server storage. All right. Oh, by duplicating, I mean uh, clicking control plus D. That's how you can duplicate or you can do you can right click and then click duplicate, whichever one works and stuff like that. But um, yeah, so you want to put that you can put one of them in server storage and then leave the other one in workspace. This one in workspace is going to be our tool, right? So of course we're going to need a handle, right? So I'm going to duplicate it again by clicking Control D, and then I'm going to scale it a little bit. This is going to be our handle. If you don't know what the handle means, the handle means this is the part that the player is going to like. Uh, like this is where the player's hand will be when they pick up the tool, I should say. So the grenade in this case. So we'll just push, it, press it down just a little bit like that, and then that should be good. Change transparency to one change the name to handle then insert a weld constraint into the handle make part zero the handle and part one the grenade then you can insert a tool into the workspace and then you can by you can select both by by uh holding control down and then left clicking both of them then just drag and drop into tool and then you can name the tool of course grenade and then you can go ahead and drop this over in starter pack. Um, I can almost, I can say with certainty, uh, it won't be facing correctly when I click play. And then like I hold it out, like it won't be facing in the right direction, but it doesn't really matter for this video. But yeah, though, anyway, so then we want to go over and head on over to grenade. And then we want to insert a local script, right? And then we could call this grenade throw local. This is a local script. And then head on over to replicated storage, insert a remote event. They call this grenade. You call this a uh, grenade throw event. Or no, let's call it grenade event. And then we're going to do local grenade event is equal to game dot replicated storage dot grenade event. Then we're going to get the, uh, what's it called? We're going to get the mouse. So local mouse is equal to game dot players dot local player. Get mouse, then click enter twice, then do script.parent.activated connect function, close parentheses, enter. Then we're going to do grenade event fire server. Then we're going to send on over mouse.hit.look vector. Then we're going to insert a server script into server script service, and then you could literally uh, name it the same thing. Just change what's in the parentheses. Grenade throw server, right? Then of course you you can just copy and paste this, right? This top part, the grenade event. And then you're gonna need to get the grenade from server storage to do local grenade is equal to game to server storage grenade. Then grenade event dot on server event connect function PLR which stands for player. Well short for player I should say. And then look vector is the second one because we're sending over the mouse uh look vector right there so yeah then you want to do local character is equal to game dot workspace find first child player dot name and then we're gonna do we can do we can do a space just for the purpose of just like separating keeping it organized I guess you could say then we'll do local grenade oh a nice about grenade grenade clone is equal to grenade clone then you can do grenade clone that name. Eh, we'll, we'll literally just call it grenade. <laughs> we'll legit just call it grenade. Grenade. Then grenade clone dot parent. Of course, we'll parent it to the workspace. And then we'll do grenade clone dot 
C frame is equal to character dot humanoid root part dot C frame times C frame dot new zero comma three zero. Then we'll, we're gonna we're gonna want to make another variable, right? We're gonna, we're gonna call this our multiplier, because we're trying to like. The C frame, right? Like this part, this is where the grenade starts at. Because obviously, you don't want the grenade to start off as like throwing. You want it to start off from like where you launched it from, and then it throws, right? That's what that's what this line is for. If anyone was like this line right here is for, like this whole line, I should say. But yeah, though. So we're gonna do local multiplier. Multiplier is equal to 100 times look vector. The look vector we sent over via remote event. And then we're going to do grenade clone. Then we're going to do. Dang, I'm not gonna lie. I forgot what it's called. Like I always forget what it's. Yeah, there. Apply impulse. Apply impulse. I always forget what it's called. Okay. Then what you're gonna want to do is multiplier times. I feel like there's something I'm for, I'm forgetting. I really feel like there's something I'm from I'm forgetting. I really feel like there's something I'm forgetting here. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I no, no, there is, there is, there is. I'm trying to, damn, I'm trying to remember it. Multiplier times. Oh wait, no, 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 no. no. It should be multiply. It should be 100 times. Grenade clone get mass. Okay, now I'm gonna do that. Get mass. Then so multiplier time multiplier whatever whatever multiplier times look vector. There we go. There we go. There we go okay right so now we have our throwing it should work if it doesn't we'll figure it out but yeah now we have our throwing then we click enter uh, twice then we can do wait two seconds so that we give it time to like you know properly throw and then you know make some distance I should say then do wait two. do local explosion is equal to instance that new explosion then parent it of course to the grenade then we're going to do explosion dot position is equal to grenade clone dot position. Then we're going to set the grenade. Then we're going to set the grenade clone transparency to one. Well, actually, mm, let's be, yeah, hold on. You could control C, like copy this, and then move this up here because we want it to disappear first before it before the explosion actually goes off. That would make more sense. So yeah. We'll do that so we set it to invisible and then we could do a uh, wait like 0 0.3 you could you can mess around with that it really depends what you're trying to go for but i think like 0 0.3 0 0.4 should be good and then you could just delete the whole grenade destroy it the entire thing which destroys the grenade and the explosion so yeah we, t if we test it out might have done something wrong it's okay we can just figure it out but we'll see okay let's see let's see Alrighty, dust throw Okay, it does throw. All right, and then it explodes. Okay, all right, yeah, okay. So, guys, so yeah, that's how you make a grenade. Obviously, as you guys can see, like I'm holding it like sideways and stuff when it's supposed to be held upright and stuff like that. You can, if you want to know how to fix this, you simply just go here. Then you literally just play around with grip forward, grip position, grip right, or grip up and stuff. Sometimes you might have to mess around with two of them to get it right. You might have to mess around with two or three of them to get it right. But yeah, if you want to know how to fix it, if you want to fix it, uh, if, if you don't, if you don't know, like if you don't understand how to like fix it by using these, you can just leave a comment and I'll explain it to you in the comments about how to use it and stuff like that. But yeah, though. So there you go. That's how you make a grenade. Throw it, and then it obviously follows the look vector of like your mouse, and then yeah, there it goes. It just rolls and rolls. Oh yeah, by the way, make sure the grenade is not anchored. Like the one in Surf Surge is not anchored, or else you would just throw it and it would just literally stay in midair. You want it to be able to roll and stuff like that. So, like, if I had thrown up there, it'll, you know, throw, then roll, then boom. I was just taking it, it'll explode, and then I can check workspace. It stays in there, explodes, then boom, disappears. So, we're not cluttering up the workspace. But yeah, as you make a grenade, um, I'll be, what's it called? I'll be making uh, another video, uh, probably, uh, I might drop it later tonight. I don't know. I might save it for tomorrow. Um, but I'm, uh, it literally is like the exact same concept as this, but just making flashbangs. It's either going to be flashbangs or uh, smoke grenades. 
Because it, like, the concept is, like, literally the exact same thing, just smoke instead of an explosion. But yeah, though, I hope this video was helpful and, and enjoyable and stuff. Appreciate the love and, love and support you guys have been showing. We literally got, like, four subs overnight. Uh, someone joined the group, someone joined the Discord earlier. Like, yeah, I remember, reminder that links to my Jomai Roblox group and Discord can be found in the description and stuff. If, if this video was helpful, if you drop a like and subscribe, help me get 300 and stuff. And yeah, I'll see y'all.